Welcome back. This weekend I was at the Inspection Museum in Colorado and I was looking through the inspection reports that were written in the 1980s and 1990s and stuffed inside those reports were the inspection agreements that showed the price that the inspectors were charging and some of them even had the invoices from back then. And I couldn't help noticing that the prices that inspectors were charging back in the 1980s and 1990s they're uh, not much different than the prices some home inspectors charge today. Why is that? Why are we not keeping up with inflation? We haven't had a, a raise in decades. Well, I have a theory. A lot of home inspectors come from the trades, uh, plumbing, electrical, things like that, and they're used to charging time and materials. Well, Pablo Picasso, the famous artist, he didn't charge time and materials. He didn't charge what his canvas cost and what his paint cost and his time cost and then uh, price the painting accordingly. He charged for what his painting was worth. And I think we need to start doing that in the inspection industry. Pablo Picasso was sitting at a restaurant one time and one of his fans uh, noticed him come running over and gushed about how thrilled she was to meet him and asked him to scribble a little sketch for, for her. So he had a pen and, and paper and he sketched uh, the waiters carrying the parfaits and handed it to her. And as he handed it to her, he said to her, that'll be $10,000, ma'am. She said, $10,000, that only took you a few minutes. And he said, no, ma'am, that took me 50 years. Pablo Picasso didn't price his services based on the cost of ink, the cost of paper, or his time. He priced his services to its value not the cost of manufacture. So how can we charge like Pablo Picasso? Well, you've heard about my BMW test. If you haven't, let me explain it. Take your home inspection brochure down to the local BMW dealership and hold it up next to the other brochures down there for the cars and ask yourself, does it compare? Can you imagine that the marketing department for BMW also created your home inspection brochure? Is it as top notch as the brochures that are in the BMW dealership. If not, you have to improve your home inspection brochure and all your other marketing. The best place to do that is to contact InterNACHI's member marketing department. They do all the design services for free. The brochures that BMW produces make an assertion, and that assertion is that the car you're about to buy is the best car on the road. Well, your brochure for your home inspection company also has to make a similar assertion. It has to say that the home inspector you're about to hire is the best home inspector in town. When someone picks up your home inspection brochure and reads it, they should say to themselves, wow, I think I found the best home inspector in town. That's what your marketing pieces should be doing for you. That's what all your marketing should be doing for you. A home inspection brochure is what? It's a piece of paper with some images and text on it. Well, a home inspection report is also similar. It's a uh, pieces of paper with images and text on it. So in the consumer's mind, they're actually looking at a preview of your home inspection report when they're holding your home inspection brochure. If you have a quality home inspection brochure, the consumer is going to believe that you also produce a quality home inspection report. And the reverse is also true. If you have a low quality home inspection brochure, the consumer may also believe that the home inspection report you produce is also of low quality. So let's say that your marketing material is top notch. Your home inspection brochure passes my BMW test. A consumer is holding your home inspection brochure in their hand. They're looking at it. What could possibly go wrong? What could cause them to doubt you as a home inspector? Price. If your pricing is too low, it conflicts with the assertions that your marketing material is making. All of your marketing is saying that you're the best home inspector in town. They've found the best home inspector. They're ready to hire the home inspector because they found the best home inspector. Then all of a sudden, they look at the pricing, and the pricing conflicts with that. It gives them doubt about whether or not you really are the best home inspector in town. It shakes their confidence. Support the assertions that your marketing material is making by charging enough. I'm not claiming that you can charge as much as Pablo Picasso did, but you should adopt his thinking when it comes to pricing your work product. Pablo Picasso didn't sell his paintings for $199.